It's a heavyweight showdown between Bruce Lee and Khabib Nurmagomedov. So here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here today. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo and the ground control and the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. in this arena is palpable. Bruce Lee and Khabib Nurmagomedov ready to go here tonight. But let's be clear, Bruce Lee has never fought a grappler on the level of Khabib Nurmagomedov. No, he's never seen anything like this. Bruce Lee has had some tremendous battles over his career. He is facing someone, Khabib Nurmagomedov, who is an absolute savage. Khabib gets his hands around him, and you are going to the ground. But what can you expect? This is a young man that spent his childhood grappling with bears. 
So it does not matter how strong you are. Bruce Lee does not feel like Habib's little friend that used to wrestle all the time. Well, Bruce Lee's got a better sprawl than you think, but it will be tested here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Lee gets back up again. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. Big punch lands over the top. Husband follows him. You got to check these low leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Rotate head outside. This dude's going for a oh, ride. Takes oh, him for a ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, I'm saying. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, spinning backfist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Guard. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Lee. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Got clip with the right hand. Back to the feet now. Gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Popping his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. He is all about that left kick to the body. He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, look at the over the top. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of making up his attack. He didn't stay the corner. He mixed it up. He went high when the corner got him going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All 
right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going. He does it for full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those six. It's a sight to behold. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing was on point. Now connects with a right. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Circling to his right. Nice body kick right under the elbow. They continue to exchange. Big ball from Swiss land. Now he gets back to range. Namago that off gets the takedown following that combination of strikes, mixing it up beautifully tonight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Armando met on slower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. So your opponent has in the clinch, pulling down on the head, landing. Good rest from Spider Mago Meta. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, man, he's got his back against the side of the octagon. He needs to isolate a hip to try to peel his hands and break that lock. Beautiful one. All right, so it's a new round. We're looking at the same storyline. Yes, it is, as he takes him down yet again. So we thought maybe that corner would make the proper adjustments. That does not appear to be the case. I mean, so clean. The entry was so clean. The fit. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. That knee might have landed there. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the run. He slams him down with so much conviction. And nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the back. Again, back into this position. Oh, useful trip to get the takedown here in the clinch. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. He just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown win in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early. 
and often. Right now, this situation is often because he's, att he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as he gets to the end of the round. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the one that really did damage his opponent. Hey, you got rocked that next round, but you're fine. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Comes in close, controls the opponent posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Getting the hands going here, Earl. Lee's uppercut is blocked. All right, single collar tie now. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, nice one, sweet. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, high elbow guillotine. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, he postured up there. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent every transition. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. All right, so he postures up, and he's out. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Some nice back and forth action here. Nurmagomedov gets the takedown. Could be big here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Good punch. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in victory. Kick home, and now his opponent in a 
world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did. Not such a guy. Double leg shot. Oh, he slams him down with authority. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Jermago Medoff's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Nice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank. And then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes. And before you know it, the fight's over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch, man. To the top. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Comes through with a big hit. That knee hurt him. Double leg shot. Oh, ow. Slams him to the canvas with authority. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Nermago Medoff's going for an arm here. by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Lee gets back up. Just over three minutes to go now. He is back up to his feet. Nomago Medov's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. That's a big strike right there. Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the wrestling. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but he can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. Liver kick. Back to their feet now. Oh, head kick blocked though by Nermago Medov. Pretty good jab there by Lee. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Nermago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's about. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. That's how you finish your fight. 
shot at double leg. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon shaking this. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips. Steve. Mago Medov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to... Hurt. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Oh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway, and man, is that guy hard to submit. It looked like it was close, but... Close, doesn't work anymore. Almost doesn't count. And for as close as he was. The fight thus far. How's his opponent supposed to I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. So specifically, that right side has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the perp. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planted on his back. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love takedowns. So come on, do something different. Press punch, do one of the special moves. I mean, Jesus, takedown after takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gets up again here, but hurting. Big punch land. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Close guard. And Lee gets back up again.
highlights, you know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight trip. Just an incredible result for him here. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick. Over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hit behind the punch that finished the fight for him. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised.